As many prepare to get together with old friends and relatives to celebrate the holidays, we're reminded of how much people change over the years, but that may be nothing compared to how much the city of Cleveland has changed. Plain Dealer writer and Arthur, Arthur author Laura DeMarco shows us just how much in a new book. Here's a sample with some help from our Will Uick. I'm a third generation Clevelander, so I grew up hearing all these stories from my, you know, my grandma who was born here in 1912, my dad was born in the 40s, and they told these stories about Cleveland that was so different than the Cleveland I was growing up in, and I was like, I have to learn more about this. Like, where are these places? What happened to them? Laura DeMarco has always been curious about the history of the city she loves, so she looked into it and published a book. Cleveland Then and Now puts images from old Cleveland side by side with current Cleveland and describes what happened. Some changes are hardly noticeable. The arcade, the 1890 arcade on Euclid Avenue looks almost exactly the same. And thank God, like it's such a beautiful building. Others are pretty drastic. The Bond store was an Art Deco gem at East 9th, and, and you really don't have that many Art Deco buildings. The Cuyahoga and Williamson at Public Square were really significant to Cleveland's earliest skyscrapers. So what happened? I think it almost all comes down to economics. Um, I mean, there's a couple of places that burned down and things like that, but it, it's really economics and Cleveland was so hard hit in the 60s by job loss. You know, in the 50s we had almost a million people living here. Now we have like a little more than a third of that. But as Laura went to these places and looked into what happened, she also kept an eye on where the city is going and sees promise that if there's a next book, there'll be no shortage of positive improvements and historical restorations for her to feature from the city that she loves. But I definitely think in the last decade, we've gotten so much better about preservation, really like holding on to our heritage. In Cleveland, Will Uick. More people are living in downtown Cleveland now than have in decades, and that's really thanks to the preservation of a lot of these historic buildings around here. Channel 3 News. Cleveland, Cleveland Then and Now is available in stores and on Amazon. The official book launch is tomorrow at Prosperity Social Club in Tremont, and that is from 11 until 2.